the 76th book that I completed in 2023 is Storms Can't Hurt the Sky, A Buddhist Path Through Divorce by Gabriel Cohen. This book took about seven hours to read. My grade for it is an A. I learned so, so much from this book. Even though it's a Buddhist path through divorce, it has nothing to do really with religion. It's, it's more about philosophy. And the number one thing I think that I took from this book is the idea that we absolutely must forgive and that forgiveness isn't something we do for someone else, which I've always seen it as. It's something that we do for ourselves. Um, we forgive other people for ourselves and likewise we need to forgive ourselves for things that we've done in the past as well. Something that I think is really, really hard to do, but this book was a sort of an autobiography of this man going through his divorce and not really understanding why and the troubles that he had dealing with his divorce and how Buddhism helped him get through his divorce. But he doesn't talk about reincarnation or any anything that's mystical about Buddhism. He simply uses Buddhism as a prescription to solve many of life's problems and just this idea that we need to always be looking through other people's eyes and trying to see why they might have done something that maybe we've taken offense to or we've gotten angry about, but that offense and that anger has to do with reasons that we've projected onto other people's actions. We don't actually know why they behave the way they behave. So Storms Can't Hurt the Sky is very much about controlling what, what you can control, and that's, of course, just you yourself. Um, I thought it was an excellent book. I don't give it an A+, plus because it's a little bit ambivalent toward therapy, and I am not, and so I can't quite give it an A+, plus um, because it does it does a couple of times talk about how psych meds and therapy aren't necessarily the way to go and that Buddhism might be a better way to go. And I would argue that all of the above is, is, the, best, is the best way to go. But it's still an excellent book. If you're going through a divorce, I, I, this is highly recommended. I did a lot of research to find out what are the best books uh, to, to read about divorce. And Storms Can't Hurt the Sky topped many, many lists, and I, I can see why. It's, it's, not, it's not hard to understand at all. It's autobiographical, and therefore the tenets that it is teaching are framed within a narrative, and it's very easy to understand as a result. So I highly recommend this book.